Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back to We Happy Few. Uh, the time has come that we need to actually visit uh, Verloc ourselves. We had kind of theorized that maybe, just maybe, this is where Arthur would show up, but not yet. So maybe this doesn't work, and then he'll show up later, and this is what, then we can ask him for the... Uh, for the cod liver oil, but maybe we get, maybe we don't lie to Arthur, and we actually do, we actually do require it for a different reason, but I'd be pretty surprised if that was the case. I'm just gonna come in here. How can I help you? Let's uh, sell a few things. Okay, I don't need, you know what? I actually do need things like flour. I can buy this whole thing. Sugar I'll buy. Uh, metal tube I need. Oh, they're free. He gives me metal tubes for free. <laughs> That's legit. Look at the difference in prices once we have all of our upgrades, too. That's actually pretty incredible. Okay. Uh, in terms of sales, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of these. These phenicillin jabs removes the plague. We never have that. Uh, these berserk spikes I'm going to sell to him as well. Stoic, I'm gonna sell one. Digital Axe, I'm gonna sell a couple of these. How much money we have now. Just like that. And then we have a bunch of, uh, we have a bunch of weapons that we can sell to him. Get rid of some of these bottles. Easy peasy. And is there anything else? I think that's pretty good. We're loaded up now. Yeah, very I happy. I appreciate your custom. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, me too. Great chat, buddy. Great chat. So we're heading out to, uh, to see Verloc. I think the comment that we made was, we haven't seen him since we started showing. So... The idea here is that the baby belongs to Verloc. But he has no idea. As far as I know, he doesn't know. So I don't know if this is something that we eventually end up sharing with him. But I think it's probably in our best interest not to. If I was a mother, <laughs> which quite clearly I'm ready for, that's how I would handle it. Uh, that's joy water, pure water, sure. Okay. The evil Hayworth Laboratory. Like, in a way, I kind of love it. Now, remember, to get in here with Arthur... Oh. To get in here with Arthur, we needed a press pass, right? It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from their best families. And I'll need help with my homework. Oh. And we'll get to know each other. <laughs> for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. Our mom's a real piece of work. It's like that's what we needed to tell her to get try and get an education. Hello. Jeez. It's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Special connections. Look, they're playing patty cake. <laughs> Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, Mom, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry I was, Joy. Yeah, I was going to say we Blackberry Joy. Without our Blackberry Joy. And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. 
And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Oh. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new <laughs> molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Oh, come don't on, let her dude. get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. See, it's delicate for them because we're their Blackberry Joy source. Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil fuck now? now? Huh. Am I just gonna have to make a bolt for this here? Guess who's gone off the rails? He wasn't always as crazy, was he? No, he was charming and smart and smart, but he didn't he didn't care I was a girl not in the lab anyway, but he was a bit cold, but I thought he's just a scientist. It was us against all the idiots who couldn't see. I guess I was keeping him sane or something? God knows I was fixing his calculations. God, I hate men. I mean, I love men, <laughs> but sometimes I hate them. Lovely day for it. Right is right. Right is right. Well, that was very helpful, guys. Thank you. Wait, Arthur. Oh he yeah, see, there we go. So good at finding things. If he can survive the garden district, he was so mad. But he could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. <sighs> it's 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 sad because. I feel like she just kind of manipulates people and like to get what she wants and it works for her. That's the craziest part. You know, like all these men just whatever she wants. Everybody wants to be with Sally B. And it sounds like the one constant though is that at least it seems as if she realizes, you know, Arthur, he's the guy. Should have always been the guy. And should still be the guy. Kind of sad, actually. Oh. Hello. Man, these masks, I think, are pretty, like... They're hit. They're... Okay, they're hidden in plain sight. Obviously. Oh, shit. I look too good here. But, like... If you're... If you're not constantly scanning, so easy to miss. You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. For God's sake, gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You been looking a bit too provocative. Provocative? I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First I'm not doing enough to get a man, now I'm trying too hard. Just wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention? What the hell? Arthur! I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, this is under oh, the uh, the V1 uh, thing. I mean, 
<laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? <laughs> yeah, see? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like I'm about 99.9% .9 sure this did not take place here, and this what is not how I this happened sort of with souvenir. Arthur's side. Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask. I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so yeah, like this happened at her place, and I'm sorry. I, he I approached I'll, Arthur. Approached I'll, I'll Sally. Get you that I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really. So it's really. cool to see that it their perspectives on go. the get situation are different. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Oh, we're seeing all the men in our life today. It's great. Absolutely great. Victory Memorial Camp. Okay, so that's up here. Then the shelter. All right, cool, cool, cool. At least we're both in this together. Sometimes. So, on the last go? interaction that we had oh, with Arthur, we kind of thought, you know, maybe the the interactions would be different. And I don't know if the first one was, but this one, I'm sure it happened at her place. So. Yeah, bizarre. That their perception would be that different. There's got to be a reason for that. Maybe it's maybe it's just a joy thing that kind of messes up people's memories. Is this something I can just walk into? Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Sounds, nice sounds to see like you, it. Miss Boyle. Hello, Mr. Hi, Oldcastle. Boys. Keeping us safe. Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Okay, do I want to be like stealing all their stuff here? Remember the you story? Lot don't appreciate the general. <laughs> oh, here we go. All you know is the war. But back when I saw with him in India, let me, let me tell you what happened. Oh, God. Here he goes <laughs> The elephant the story. Elephant. <laughs> now, you two bloody listen That's to That's hilarious. Me. One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant well, broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time. And they get most along of the time. just fine with their man who rides them. He's called a mahout. Watch your step. But... When they're in heat, you have to chain them up. <laughs> this and so this one, I got loose. And as my hoot went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction, and the elephant runs into the market and Whoever starts eating peaches. And the cool leaves are alone, would you? And the elephant, oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud, and skin comes off his back it's like he was peeling a Oh, gross. So the sea boys come running up to this general. Only then 
he was a major, and say, your mud gum should this elephant. So, he gets his hunting rifle. Well, I it's like a 505 that, Gibbs. And he oh, goes down to the market. Gibbs. Only now, the elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field eating leaves. As calm as never mind. So, there's no cause to shoot it anymore. And by now the mood's come back and he's screaming and jabbering about, oh, please don't shoot my elephant. You see, he's grown up with that elephant his whole life. And he don't know how to do any other job except sit on that elephant and tell it to pick up a log and carry it over there. But the elephant's <laughs> taking the life of a man, you see. <laughs> Not yours, but a man. And the moat's crying and jabbering and cool as a summer breeze. The general chambers around, puts it right through the elephant's heart. <laughs> and the wind just goes out of it. It just kneels down and sighs. And then it's gone. And all the villages are running to get their knives because it's free meat. Now see, a lesser man would have trembled at the thought of shooting an elephant that's just calmly standing there eating leaves. He might on the start. Some civilian in Burma had to shoot a rogue elephant and he had to practically empty a whole magazine into the poor thing and it was half an hour of the time. But the general makes a tough choice to see. So don't you armchair generals tell me what <laughs> I can only imagine like working with this guy. And we'll win the next war. The general's promised. Alright? Yeah, great story. Thanks. I had to listen to that again. It's too good. If it moves, salute it. If it don't move, put it away. If you can't move it, put camo next. Now, I think... I can't remember. I don't know if this is the place. But I remember somebody pointed out that there was one of the masks that we may have missed in this area with Arthur. And they said it was up a ladder. So I'm wondering if there's... If this would have been the ladder, and secondly, if we have one for... Wait, what the? Oh, that is weird. Never mind, maybe not. Or maybe it was there the for Arthur, I don't even know if that's the spot, but... Moons. It's the only place I see a ladder. A dragging him out of them. If he's cheery... I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. And with Arthur, we had to like sneak through here all like super sleuth. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't <laughs> ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. What were you guys doing? Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French man. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know. <laughs> Sally, suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. He's going to be like, get out. <laughs> Doesn't even have to say anything. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been around in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Yeah, seriously. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours? Uh-oh. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? 
Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a baby. What? What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. Jesus. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. You're cruel to toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Oh. It? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but no. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me oh, I don't like this. last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. Fuck. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. I don't like that. Right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. Okay. Let's review. Why did I do that? It was it was nice. Why didn't I ever do that before? Because look at what happens. I fuck everything up. Think, Sally. Think. Funny thing. I was scrambling for a lie to tell him about the cod liver oil, and I wind up telling him something I would never tell anybody else ever. How is it I don't see him for 14 years, and one minute later I'm telling my deepest, darkest secrets? Except for the one big thing. I didn't tell him about Gwen. He's still so mad about it. If he brings me the cod liver oil, then maybe I can trust him about everything else. Can I? I wish the only person I know who can give me a letter of transit wasn't the bloody general. Won't that be fun? And then, the kind, dear, sweet old general would like nothing better than to take care of me while the world burns. I'm sure he wouldn't want anything in return. He wants to get Gwen out without me. I'm such a rubbish mom, she'd probably be better off, wouldn't she? If I were a really good mom, I'd make the sacrifice. I can't give you up, Gwen. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh god, I remember the babies after the war. Before everyone got on joy and we stopped having them, they upset everyone so. I always wondered where they went after. No one talked about it. Usually the mums went in. Sometimes the baby was just suddenly gone. Sometimes they found the baby and the mum later. I don't want to play house with the general. I want to vomit. Wait, the boat. There's a boat. He has a boat. I could steal it. Fix it up first, then steal it. Now I can go see Arthur again and give him a letter of transit. He'll have the cod liver oil. And we could take the boat off this cursed archipelago. Archipelago. <sighs> wow. Okay. So, they've moved Sir Robert's Bristol Pilot to the submarine pen, or the boathouse. The General's boat. Where the hell is that? And how am I going to get there? I guess over this way. Now, maybe I'll have to pull some sleuthy tactics here. But they all seem to know me, so... I don't know what they would do if they Attention, see all us. Personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur was a gentleman. Starring the hilarious King Arthur was a gentleman. Fuck off, Aaron. Who the f This guy's he's <laughs> What's his deal? He's a, like he's just stoned or what? He's not deceased, he's not Sleep. 
And then there was something we needed to craft, but it looks like it's done. Was that from here? Because this is, this is that house that we were talking about, like that broken quest. I don't know. Yeah, see, bad dreams. Get sleep tight. What the? I wonder if I should try, like, um... Making some of it. Do I have it? Velvety emulsion. And blood toxin we would need to make. Blood toxin, we have we need lily bulbs and strange meat. Okay. We'll keep our eye out for that stuff. See if we can't make it work. This is pretty nice out here, actually. Is it guarded? No? Like, no one's out here. Well, I'll be damned. General's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat. But does it work? This is the guy they were kind of describing as a bit of an oaf, right? Not for sure. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. That don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. <laughs> Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. Great. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is... Uh, that what sort of boat it is? <laughs> yes. Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for late patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation. Just lulling him into, like... We couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Oh, yeah. Well, if it's rusted solid... <sighs> Maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. Oh, great idea. Do you know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the general. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the general be surprised? <laughs> oh, yeah, he will be. Oh, yeah. Let me just see if you got anything in. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Pride and Prejudice. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. Is that too strong a word? Because I think it's fair. She's a right POS, in my opinion. Thank you for the help. Enjoy your floating. Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. <laughs> and I guess I'll need to steal the general's key to the boat. All right. First things first. 
Who can tell me about boats? So Faraday, I mm. guess. Wait. Oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Okay. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? This is so crazy because you're starting to see like how how Sally's story could potentially end. She gets out of here. Uh, but to where? I don't I got I got questions. <laughs> I don't have I I got questions. We'll see where we go. We'll see where it goes. So once we got the boats working, I'm gonna want to come back here with Gwen. I don't fancy a stroll down the King's Road. Who could tell me about boats? So strange we live in a bloody archipelago archipelago, but the water might as well be lava. Well, that's fairly toxic, come to think of it. Okay. So let's take a break here. When we come back, we're gonna go to the air raid shelter and we'll uh, keep piecing this together. Thank you guys so much for watching, hey? Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.